Today is March 12th, and Pastor is saying to us, the stakes are high. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 11. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Clearly, we see from the scriptures that we are in the final days before the rapture of the church. This isn't the time to loaf around. There's a lot the Lord wants to do through you with a short time left. Our theme verse says, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. You got to work with a mentality that is appearing could be any minute and become very passionate in your spirit for the gospel, ensuring its spread and impact around the world. As the scriptures tells us, the Antichrist is only going to be given three and a half years for the great tribulation. It's going to be a period of intense trouble, worse than the world has ever experienced and will ever experience. Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. And it will be worldwide in scope, Jesus said, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Matthew chapter 24, verse 22. Imagine the kind of evil and destruction that will be perpetrated by the Antichrist for only three and a half years that warrants a divine shortening. That also tells us something. We can do a lot of good within a short time. We can shake up this world. It begins with you giving more attention to prayer, especially praying for the impact of the gospel around the world in these last days. This is very important. The stakes are very high. It's not just about you. It's about the future of our world. Before the rapture, you've got to dominate this world like never before. Jesus isn't planning to snatch us out of this world as though we've been victims. Remember that he overcame the world. He's coming for a victorious church, a triumphant church. Glory to God. Please state this confession with me. The gospel of Christ burns in my heart like fire shut up in my bones. Thank you, dear Father, for the honor of being a custodian of this life-changing message. The message of power by which you save, heal, protect, deliver, preserve, and prosper. I've been endowed with the ability and grace to lead many to Christ, unveiling to them the mysteries of the kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Romans chapter 12, verse 11 of the Amplified Classic, Daniel chapter 12, verse 3, and 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Mark chapter 15, verses 1 to 20, and Numbers chapters 32 to 33. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 22, verses 15 to 22. In Exodus chapter 21. Rhapsody of reality.